All right, I just want to talk about a particular question that I get asked a lot. And this is for those of you who do track your HRV, um, or maybe you've had a HRV assessment and you've been told it's low. So when your HRV is low, what that means is while your vagus nerve is still on, it's not a light switch, it doesn't turn on and off, it's really not working optimally. And it means your stress resilience is probably really low. But what a lot of people say is, but I don't feel stressed. I feel fine. But the data is saying, ah, oh, you're really stressed. You're in a sympathetic dominant state or your sympathetic nervous system is activated. You're in fight flight. And they're like, what's going on? You really need to look at why your nervous system thinks that's normal because if you've been in that state for a really long time, the nervous system loves familiar and it'll be like, yeah, no, I'm good. Like, this is me. You know, you might even think some of the character traits you have around um, the stress response are just part of you, whether that's a racing mind or low grade anxiety um, or can't sit still, um, you know, that like anything that is really that like hustle, you know, maybe you just can't stop and sit and be. Whatever it is, you might think, oh, that's just part of my personality. But actually, it's part of your nervous system response. So your nervous system will seek out familiar. And this is what we do in relationships, unless we start to see the pattern. And this is what we do in terms of our behavior um, and how our nervous system likes to sit. So it's kind of like a thermostat. And you can bring it down. Um, but for those of you who feel like your baseline feels pretty comfortable, you don't even feel stressed, but your HRV is telling you you are, um, it's going to feel really awful for a lot of you and you need to be slow and gentle because it's going to try, um, like in my head, I envision it like an elastic band. If you pull that too far, it's going to fling back and it's going to go right back to where the familiar is. So you need to be like, I'm going to go down a tiny bit and we're going to make this our new familiar. I'm going to go down a tiny bit and again and again. If you try and push that down really quickly, um, it is so unfamiliar for your nervous system. It's going to go, hell no, not doing this. I'm going to go straight back into the stress response because this feels threatening. So the way to improve your HRV or your vagal tone even if it's low and you don't feel stressed, is to go even slower than someone who knows they feel really stressed, whose vagus nerve is like, please let me work. You know, your vagus nerve is like, no, nah, I'm good. You know, you've got to go really slow.